Lost in the Library, A Story of Patience and Fortitude, by Josh Funk, illustrated by Stevie Lewis. Early one morning, while all New York slept, night was transforming to dawn. Silence filled all of Manhattan except Fortitude woke with a yawn. Patience, good morning, he said from his plinth, but Patience was nowhere in sight. He'd entered the library's grand labyrinth when no one was watching last night. Fortitude never abandoned his post, but Patience had not yet returned. As sunlight ascended across the east coast, Fortitude grew quite concerned. How could he do this? He's never been late. Fortitude leapt on all fours. Lacking all patience, he couldn't just wait, and scampered through Astor Hall's doors. The ceiling above was twelve elephants tall, and dozens of buffalo wide. Patience told stories of rooms, like this hall, but it was a new world inside. Twisting and turning, he noticed some stairs, Patience might climb, he supposed. When reaching the top, he was caught unawares. A frolicsome statuette posed. Looking for someone, she asked with a grin. Fortitude nodded his head. Patience, my partner, my sidekick, my twin. I really must find him, he said. The Rose Main reading room back to your right, sometimes he's there, the girl stated. Fortitude thanked her and ran out of sight, hoping his buddy awaited. Over and under the tables and chairs, Fortitude looked high and low. Searching the shelves on the walls up the stairs, Fortitude paced to and fro. After what felt like forever, he ceased. Patience just wasn't around. Fortitude heard someone's voice to the east and eagerly followed the sound. People in portraits that lined every wall whispered and gossiped away, so Fortitude ro roared out his loudest of all to turn their attention his way. Has anyone noticed a lion like me? He's quiet and peaceful and sweet. A grumpy old man said, no lion but thee. Now please go back out to the street. Exiting gloomily, Fortitude wandered back through the library's maze. Patience, dear Patience, where are you, he pondered, while thinking of happier days. In the beginning, young Patience was shy, but Fortitude thought he was rude. Weeks and then months and then years traveled by. Eventually, friendship ensued. Patience told stories of ducklings and moons, of wardrobes and buttons and fun. On cold snowy evenings or hot afternoons, Fortitude cherished each one. Rays from the sun had begun creeping in. When water flew out from a sink, a little bronze lion said, Gotcha, I win, and gave him a satisfied wink. The lion said, Wait, you're not Patience, oh no. The splash, it's a game that we play. Patience, asked Fortitude, where did he go? The sunrise is minutes away. Today? Haven't seen him, the lion confessed, but I wouldn't worry, old chap. Perhaps you require some help on your quest. I think what you need is a map. Fortitude scanned every atlas he could before tossing each to the side. Only a library map would do good. Eureka, a visitor's guide. How many hundreds of rooms can exist? Reading the map, he was shocked. Fortitude dashed to the places he'd missed, except through the doors that were locked. He searched every floor from the first to the third. Patience just couldn't be found. Fortitude thought, I will not be deterred. What's on this floor labeled ground? 
fortitude quickly crept down the dark hall and into a jungle of joy with colorful pictures adorning each wall and books for each cat, girl, and boy. Fortitude prowled past Sendak and Ryland, Yolan and Pinkney and Bloom. While keeping his footsteps impeccably silent, he heard something in the next room. Patience, said Fortitude, what are you doing? But Patience stood still as a stone. The sun's almost risen, the pigeons are cooing. You've got to get back to your throne. Just one more paragraph, Patience declared. Then something caught Fortitude's eye. There lay the stories that Patience had shared. The monkeys, the pebble, the pie. Patience, did you learn these stories for me? Fortitude asked, but he knew. Patience just nodded and said, well, you see, I love sharing stories with you. The lions returned to their guard on the street, and nobody noticed they'd gone. Fortitude sat in his usual seat, and slowly the day carried on. But something was missing, though patience was found. Fortitude still felt a need. Patience, he said, when there's no one around, tonight can we sneak in and read?